Hi friends, welcome to DIY Electronic Project. In this project, we'll build a simple and effective circuit step-by-step. -step. To get started, you'll need a breadboard as the base for assembling the components. Begin by inserting a 100 ohm resistor into the breadboard. Next, insert two jumper wires into the breadboard. Connect one leg of the resistor to the negative terminal of 3.7 volt battery we will use in this project using these two jumper wires. Insert a 100 ohm resistor into the breadboard ensuring it is securely seated with its legs spanning two different rows. Next, insert two jumper wires into the breadboard to create a connection pathway for the positive terminal of a 3.7 volt battery. This setup will allow the power from the battery to flow seamlessly through the circuit, enabling proper functionality. After that, carefully insert two LEDs into the breadboard, ensuring their legs, pins, are correctly aligned. Connect the negative pins cathodes of both LEDs to the 100 ohm resistor, which acts as a current limiter to protect the LEDs. Next, insert the IR transmitter and IR receiver into the breadboard. Connect the negative pin of the IR transmitter to the same resistor, ensuring a shared ground connection. Similarly, connect the positive pin of the IR receiver to the resistor to complete the circuit. This configuration will allow the IR transmitter to emit an infrared beam while the receiver detects any interruption. Finally, connect a 3.7 volt battery to the circuit by attaching the positive and negative terminals to the appropriate connections on the breadboard. Once powered, both LEDs should light up, indicating the circuit is functioning correctly. Now to test the setup, bring an obstacle between the IR transmitter and IR receiver. When the beam is interrupted, you'll notice that both LEDs will turn off showcasing how the circuit detects the presence of an object. The simple yet effective design demonstrates the principles of infrared sensing and is perfect for DIY and learning projects.